Hey guys, doing another uh, shipping crate video here. This is going to be the June acqu acquisitions here. Uh, one of these I actually picked up locally for a change uh, rather than getting everything off the internet. Um, there's one more box of stuff that's out there. It hasn't shown up yet. It's about 40 days late coming out of Japan. Uh, be the first time anything has really actually ever happened to a package uh, should something actually you know, turn up missing, so to speak. Uh, there's no valuables in it necessarily. Uh, however, of course, I'll just be out the money and the models. Uh, it's from a reputable vendor, uh, Hobby Search, who we deal with all the time on the Stash Project. And I've gotten two other things that I have ordered from them, but this one that I ordered back at the end of June should have probably been here halfway through June. I don't know where it is. So, uh, you know, it is what it is in that sense, I guess. Uh <laughs> Sorry, something popped up on my computer at the same time I was trying to, you know, do this video. Shockwave, which is an Adobe Flash product, this is, is reasonably uh, unwieldy to use. At any rate, uh, we got some decals uh, for GT3 cars, of course. Why wouldn't we? And, of course, we have some kits. So let's take a real quick look uh, through everything here. And we've got uh, three sets of decals, or I should say six sets of decals, actually. Uh, three each from Racing 43 and Studio 27. So... Uh, the Studio 27 stuff is all, uh, for the 2015 Monza race, they're all SLS AMG GT3s. So here we have, up first, the Team Russian, number 70. Uh, you guys who watch Staff Project know there's a number 71, which is a wildly different car than this, uh, coming out uh, in uh, mid-July. So if you want to build both race cars from the race, you'll be able to do that. There's also uh, this set of decals from uh, Racing 43 available if you, uh, you know, prefer their decals. Bright yellow car, decals do everything except you'll uh, notice uh, there there's instructions to paint the mirror white. And then there's a blue decal stripe, and then you're supposed to paint the mirror red. So uh, a little bit of a, 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 a Wonder why? I guess making a mere wrap would probably been cost prohibitive for this. This was like a fifteen dollar decal sheet, otherwise. But uh, you know that gives you an idea of uh, what you're looking at there. And then you have two different ones. These are both of the same actual race team, uh, the Black Falcon race team. Uh, you have the number twenty one car here, which is going to be kind of hard to see uh, mainly because a lot of my res have a bad light light glare here. But this one is sponsored by Fosrock and uh, the Saudi Sports Group. Uh, hopefully, when, I've, when I get around to building this, no one will smash on the contest table because it has Arabic writing on it. Uh, <laughs> I really don't think that's a real problem, but you never know. Uh, it does have, like, Saudi flags for the winglets and stuff like that, although the car itself is a really cool metallic green color. That's a little different uh, than your traditional black or white. I mean, the, G the Team Russian car was yellow, but uh, it's a little bit different as far as... Uh, even the other Black Falcon decals that have come out in the past. And then you have the number 18 car. This one, uh, driven by an American and a British guy. So it's got a Union Jack and a U.S. flag winglets there, and sponsored by Driscoll's Berries. Uh, these decals keep insisting on looking like they're lime green on this camera, at least to me, but they're bright yellow in person to me. So uh, very much a Pittsburgh Steelers themed car here, so to speak. Uh, Got too much glare, doesn't want to focus, come on. But anyway, it's basically the same car as, the number, as that number 21, just in a different uh, color scheme and obviously different sponsorship. And then I said we got three Racing 43 sets here. I'm going to show you, just show you the, the layout since the, the decals themselves are sort of hiding behind a, uh, a uh, piece of tissue paper. This here is the number 101 uh, Von Ryan Racing McLaren 12C. This was from the 24 Hours of Spa in 2014. Kind of a real basic car. Uh, you paint it the dark blue and then the orange, uh, as well as the white on the hood, is all taken care of by decals. Very comprehensive in that manner. And then we got another uh, 12C. This one is the Team Russian uh, 24 Hours of Spa 2014 car. Obviously, Team Russian has switched to Mercedes-Benz SLS AMGs now from this uh, 12C last year. 
And this one is, uh, again, a very, very comprehensive decal set. You paint the thing white and the red and all the blue, which is quite a bit of blue. But, you know, look, there are the whole sides of cars right there. Uh, all of that is decal. And then one last one here. This is the uh, total, uh, number 63 total uh, sponsored. Although I don't really see any total sponsorship on this car. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. I see it's front and back. <laughs> Most of it's done by Reisdorf uh, and Delta. What is this? Delta Sanu, Delta Sonor. Anyway, this is a Black Falcon team. Uh, this is also a 24 Hours of Spa uh, team. An SLS AMG here. You paint the thing orange this time, and then all of the white is in decal. So, well, do, since we've been doing that real quick, there's the decals on the back. So, anyway, so that's your decals. Uh, we got uh, some import stuff here and some domestic stuff. Usually, I know we do it over here on the table, but I'm currently redesigning the <laughs> the shelving system here, and I've got a whole bunch of shit on the table. So, on the domestic side of things, uh, Mobius, 1971, Ford Ranger XLT. Mobius. Branded by Model King, 1969 Ford F100 Custom Cab. Uh, if you buy one of these kits, uh, be sure that you go inside of it and you look at the parts. Uh, I don't know what the remedy of this problem is going to be necessarily, but mine and a great deal of other people's uh, hoods are warped. And fender, inner fender wells especially are warped. Uh, my cab is a little warped because of the way it was packaged. Uh the 1971 doesn't seem to have that problem. I don't know if this one was run first and they ran more time on it or what was going on with it exactly, but a lot, a lot of people have been having problems with that 69 uh, as far as the warp goes. Now, none of it is, like, you know, tied in a knot, warped or anything. Nothing's, you know, to the point where you can't build it with a little bit of uh, hot water, but it's still disappointing to see a brand-new kit that you've been waiting on for three-plus years now come out, and that's the condition it shows up then. One last domestic kit. Picked this up at a local hobby shop the other day. I haven't even had a chance to open it. It's still in the shrink wrap. And this is the, I don't know why it's in a monogram box. Stuff like this drives me absolutely bat crazy. Uh, this is the 57 Ford Del Rio Ranch Wagon. This is the new uh, body and interior that sits on the existing 1957 Ford Custom uh, chassis that had come out in 2012. So this is eh, 50% new. The rest of it's carryover from that other kit. Uh, do have the super, entire supercharger in that station wagon. So if you're like me, who wanted the supercharger but didn't want to buy a NASCAR-specific kit that you couldn't build factory stock, uh, there's the solution to it right there. You can uh, get pick that one up, and that has a whole supercharger in it. And then these are all GT3 blanks, basically. Uh, you know, we've all been here before, all right? Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3, just a blank kit for those decals. Well, maybe not those decals, but some decals I have. Uh, 2011 BMW Z4 GT3. I got uh, two of these because I have uh, more, well, four sets of 2011 decals. Uh, and I have three of these now. One of them is still AWOL in that box that never showed up. This is the 2013-2014 Z4 GT3, and yes, there is a difference. Uh, this one is the one that came with the window masks included. Uh, this one's out of production, actually. Actually, so is the 2013. So right now, the only way you can get a new Z4 GT3 is to buy the Studi uh, Super GT kit. Uh, you can still find these on eBay, but they're starting to get kind of expensive. Uh, I'll be interested to see if Fujin puts out another GT3 car, either in the in the Good Small Racing series or something, because usually when they discontinue a bunch of really popular kits, it means there's new versions of them coming. Although uh, there might be a 2015 version of this, but in 2016, of course, we've talked about in the past on the staff report, they're going to be going to the M6 away from the Z4, so eh, we'll see. I have two of those, and then uh, something I've been looking to pick up for a real long time and just finally found one that's halfway decent price. And this is, of course, an SLS AMG GT3, but this is the Gainer Dixel sponsored one. Uh, you can build this kit one of two ways uh, as far as the decals that are included with this. Uh, looking for another one of these. 
at a reasonable price. They're, this has been on production for like a year and a half, and for some reason it's unobtainium all of a sudden. Uh, it's almost going for more, in some cases it's going more than the uh, Patronus Malaysia kit that comes with a 1 8 scale resin helmet. That's like that was like seventy bucks to begin with. I saw one of these list on eBay the other day for one hundred sixteen dollars plus shipping and handling. So anyway, this like I said, you can build this. Uh, let me slide this across here. Uh, either as the number eleven or the number ten, and I think there's difference. Yeah, and there's your difference there, as far as the paint scheme. It's pretty much the same, same uh, base color, but there are a few little uh, detail colors that are different. The winglets are different colors, and the of course, there's a slightly different set of uh, sponsorships involved. So I want to get another one of these so I can build it both ways. And that will just be a straight out-of-the-box build. That will not be a blank. That's already one of the, much like the Studi kit and the Malaysia Patronas car. Uh, there's one more thing I have up there, isn't there? Ah, yes, the, the, the uh, number 60, 24 hours of Spa McLaren that Fujimi did. And those will all be done just box stock because they already have decals included in them. So, uh, that's where we're at with that. Um, there is a box lingering over in Hobbyland, Japan that's like two months worth of stuff right now. We'll get that probably sometime in August. Uh, we're still waiting on some stuff in July to come in before we ship that out. Anyway, guys, uh, that's what we got this week. Uh, we'll probably do some uh, reviews on the uh, domestic stuff, maybe. Uh, I've already seen some reviews done on the Mobius kits, so maybe we'll just skip on those and just do the Del Rio. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys on the other side. Yeah.